Jonah gave us everything he had, just like he always does. Tight hit group. Battle. Didn't get it done. So never easy to in your season. Love each and every one of the members of our club. They genuinely care about each other. Ones that are graduating and signed, we're gonna miss questions. Yeah, I know you guys didn't get the outcome you got, but what Jonah did for you guys today, just, just how special was that effort for you guys? It, it was, you know, just awesome to watch. They walked the first guy. You know, you think of, well, that's Jonah. Right back at it, boom, boom, boom. Firing strikes, like all four pitches going. And, um, it was a chance. We're just getting their pitching staff pitches very well. And um, get it done. You got to coach back. Seems like their starter was able to throw a lot of off speed. And the guys chased a lot. Just what did you see overall from the hitters and yeah, so We were probably, you know, 20, 30% more out of the zone. Um, and then we kind of got it back together. We started making better decisions on pitch selection and you know, quality of the AB improved. And you know, it's just uh, it's, it's tough. Jonah, what were your expectations going in? You've never gone that deep in a game for Florida State. Did you feel like you could do something like that today and put the team in a good position? I mean, yeah, like coming into, I mean, I told Lee and the coaches, I said, my pitch count's 300. I'm just going until I can't anymore. So, like, walking in today, that's like, well, was unexpected, but open for it. I mean, this year it seemed like a lot of the time it was kind of small fundamental things that, that kind of helped this team back. Just how do you, I guess, how do you fix that moving forward for, for the program? You got to coach better. You know, I'm never going to roll a player. I'm never going to, you know, be that kind of guy. But, you know, you go over things two or three times every week for months on end. Uh, but again, it ultimately falls on me. I think you guys have seven redshirt seniors, and I think six of those guys have, have been here for three plus years. Just, just how special is that group? Just the way they lead your team, and, and how much will you, you miss those guys? I'll let Jonah speak to that question as well. It, it's it's why it hurts so bad. You know what all they, the effort, blood, sweat, tears. You know over the years have, have gone into it. Uh, and sometimes as a coach, you worry about you know is, is the guy ready for the world? Is he? To get how life works, and I'm not concerned at all with this group. That we're losing, they get it, and they, the work ethics there. They're going to be great successes in life, regardless whether it's pro ball, business, or whatever. Uh, yeah, um, you know, because I've been on. I think Reese is the only one. I've been on his team for five years now, and it's just like it's out of baseball, out of everything. It's just like he'll be my best friend for life. So, and then Terrell comes in, and and. Uh, Brock and other guys at our age, and it's just like they just come in, fit right in, and it's just like everyone that I've ever played with will be one of my best friends for life. That's what makes everything so difficult because I've lost before. We've all lost, but it's the things that come with this loss that make it so so much more. You and your dad have kind of set the expectation that Omaha is a standard for the program. How do you kind of go into the off season evaluating? Where the program needs to go. Well, it is the standard. Um, I mean, it always will be the standard for the state. Um, you know, our job is to recruit our tails off, evaluate what we, the way we do things, make changes if necessary. And, um, there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to look at. So, I think today was the 120th time you, you pitched for this team, for this program. Just, just what does the school and, and the program mean to you? I mean, it's in my blood now. I, I wish I could go back and do all 20, 120 again, but, you know, it's not how life works. So, but definitely wouldn't change a thing about it. So. Yeah. James and, and Jaime contributed for you guys this whole weekend and this whole year. Just, just how excited are you to see their growth moving forward? Yeah, they're, they're both guys that are going to be – you know, have a chance to be superstars um, going through the process and getting their feet wet. And it's amazing how much guys will improve from that, you know, first time of being in the big arena and the environment, 
you know, we played in a lot of places like that were, you know, get postseason type environments, and that's always beneficial. They're going to work their tails off, work on their weaknesses. I expect them to be really order, you know, superstars. Any other questions? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.